I think that this is an incredibly fertile time for artists. There's no cap on creativity. The technological advances have given the artists an open door to creating as much as their capacity will allow. Well, I think one power shift that's going on in the creative world is the creative professionals themselves having more power over their careers. All the work that's being created by everyone in the world, it's, it's basically brought the world together. You're now competing with all of history and all of the future. How do you make a work that will stand the test of time? How do you make a work that, that people actually will choose to see when they know that Bergman and Ozu and you know, Michelle Gondry and Hal Hartley and, you know, all these different great directors have already made work that has already been certified by somebody as being excellent. I think what we'll find is we'll find creativity that we haven't seen yet, including multidisciplinary, you know, across all different genres of music, filmmaking, remixed together. You have this thing going on right now where production companies are signing designers and visual effects people. Design studios are trying to rep themselves as directors and post houses are shopping out their lead, you know, their lead creatives as directors. And it's this sort of mishmash and redefining. You go out there into the world, everyone thinks they have a novel in them. Everyone thinks they can make a movie. Everyone thinks that they can, can write a song. That's why so many kids go into bands. That's why everyone sits down and tries to write a great book. That's why everyone now is buying camcorders and throwing their stuff up on YouTube. It's created a world where everyone is sort of shouting at each other and everyone is both the producer and the consumer at the same time. I think the first time that I used Napster, I noticed what it let you do, that you could access all this music very quickly. And I immediately felt like it just changed something in the way that I, in the way that I think about media or music. It just felt like that will never be the same. You could sit around and you could have a tantrum and scream and shout like Lars Ulrich from Metallica did around the Napster case, but you just look like a dipshit and you look stupid and out of touch, and you are stupid and out of touch because you can't. These are huge global revolutions.